Hey church, Saturday morning. Hope you have a great weekend here and looking forward to getting together tomorrow to worship at CTK. And uh, we're going to be continuing on in our series in the book of Joshua. We come to Joshua chapter 9. It's a great story. I love this story. And one of the correlations that we've been seeing, one of the applications that we've been making as we've been making our way through the book of Joshua is just the battle that happens in the Christian life. It's not a life that's free of warfare. And we've seen that in the Christian life, we battle against the world, the flesh, and the devil. And we've seen that illustrated throughout the book of Joshua. And now at this point, we come to this story that's called the Gibeonite Deception. And guess who it pictures a battle against? The old devil, the old slew foot. The Bible tells us that Satan masquerades as an angel of light. That when he lies, he is speaking his native tongue. And we're going to look at this story where we're going to see the enemies of God's people, kind of like sheep in wolves' clothing, or, or uh, wolves in sheep's clothing are going to come against uh, the children of God and they're going to deceive them. And the mistake happens simply in this place, in the scripture. It says this in Joshua chapter 9, verse 14. They did not seek the counsel of the Lord. And I think about that, I think, man, just how many times in my life, probably how many times in your life, have you made the mistake of not seeking the counsel of the Lord and something goes off track. Well, we're gonna look at this story. We're gonna see how Satan came, uh, slew foot God's people, tricked them, deceived them, and how they bought it. And then we're gonna look and see how God worked to redeem that story. Because here's the amazing thing about God. Even when you and I make the mistake, we, we enter into a relationship or a business practice or or a marriage, or some sort of situation where, man, it's almost like we've made a deal with the devil. God can work to redeem those things. And God is going to work on behalf of his people in Joshua chapter 9 to redeem them from the deception and the mistake that they made when they didn't uh, consult him. So I think about this story, and we're going to talk about this a couple of things. Man, always so important that you and I consult the Lord on everything, asking him for wisdom, But then the second thing is this, when we make mistakes, to return to him in repentance and say, God, we need you to redeem this. And so I'm encouraging you, just uh, looking forward to being with you tomorrow. Uh, Would you, this weekend before church, go ahead, read Joshua chapter 9, get a sense of what's going on, and we'll take a deeper dive uh, tomorrow on Sunday. Hope to see you at that church, 9.30 or 11, or joining us online. God bless you. Have a great weekend.